The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed. It's ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. You guys hear about this? I hear I see Iron Mike's back in the headlines. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You hear about this? This is just how my mind works. Uh, Iron... <sighs> Should we go? Iron... No, no, no. Keep it on hit. Don't... We don't need more light. Justin does. <laughs> what he's Just, doing... He what clearly he's... needs this. And listen, I don't want to tell the people who work here how to do their jobs, but what he's doing is more important than what me and Travis are doing right now. We're glorified I, audience. Turn, can you turn the lights off of me and Travis? And, and if you want to mute our mics, it's just always such a joy to be back in the in the Las Cruces Funny Bone. Uh, Y'all are always the best audience. Uh, so, so Iron Mike's back in the headlines. I've had, I've had some. T- they, they don't mention that in the safety. That's great. He, he hit someone on an airplane several times. If you didn't... They don't mention... <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to My Brother, My Brother, and Me, an advice show for the modern era. Wait a minute. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy, and I'm guessing we have not been here before. Is that accurate? Because <laughs> the second time, you all will see, it's much diluted from this. So I'm loving this, getting it raw. It's the fantastic. second time, it's a lot more like, oh. oh. Yeah, it's amusing. Not funny, but amusing. <laughs> I'm your middle brother, Travis McElroy. And I'm your sweet baby brother, Griffin McElroy. If if you say so, man. (laughs) I am just so thrilled to be here in the Paris of the Plains, as I call it. The city city of fountains. um, Soccer capital of America. We want the World Cup, am I right? Yeah! And it's also called the center of America, mainly because it's the center of America. I mean, draw an X. We're here, baby. This is the heartland right here. We're here. The co- the, I call it the cool Kansas City, am yeah. I right? Yeah. Fuck the other Kansas City. Fuck that other Kansas City, for real. Fuck them. Hey, there's a lot of you here. If we all teamed up, We could beat bad Kansas City's ass. They'd never see it coming. Um, This is an advice show. We took a, don't be jealous, but we took a bus to get here. Now, Justin, was it a fancy tour bus like uh, Garth Brooks might have? Um, no, it was just a regular bus with cup holders. <laughs> just like, it was a, it with was, some cup holders. Some cup holders. There was a, uh, there was a turlet in the back. No, no TP, which I see you. Thank you. I get it. No TP, no sink. So no it was sink. really just a wet bus hole. The sink, 
the sink had a paper sign in it that said, do not use. So several of us did use the bathroom. So we all kind of exchanged this glance like, we'll never speak of this, right? I didn't, you didn't, right? Did you bring hand sanitizer? Okay. But, but they did have one DVD on the bus. And the bu- one, <laughs> one. A single DVD. DVD. And the bus driver found it and was like, let me see if we have any other DVDs. But we told them to stop because the DVD was Space Jam. And we said that, <laughs> stop looking. I want to talk about, and I'm so sorry, it's a beloved classic. Here he goes. There's a huge plot hole in this He movie. hasn't already lost you enough. Now he's going to attack Space Jam. But it bothered the shit out of me today watching it. Right at the beginning, Michael Jordan is crushed into a basketball by the Monstars. And then later, he's surprised that his body can contort into different shapes. Uh, excuse me, Michael, you already done did it once. I'm just saying some inconsistencies in Space Jam. He's Andrew Dice Clay over here tonight. I don't mean to be. It did get, it did inspire my oldest son to once again, just check with me that Michael Jordan's a real person (laughs) and not a creation of the Warner Brothers entertainment (laughs) conglomerate. Uh, Our dad, as far as I know, did not read a book or look at a screen other than the movie Space Jam. He watched the entirety of it wrapped. And I know that because every few minutes he would announce the name of the person on the screen. (laughs) Jim Rome, look at him. Muggsy Bogues, look at him. Five foot three Muggsy Bogues is. You can be anything you want to be. Thank you. That's the message of tonight's, tonight's evening is you can live your dreams. You can be anything you want to be. What a beautiful venue, by the way. No we were kidding. blown away. This is, you are so fortunate to have this. This is a lovely place. I asked who made the chandelier and nobody would tell me. Like, what? I, yeah, I asked around. I was like, did you make it? They're afraid it? you'd copy it. Yeah, I guess. Uh, this is, as you've certainly guessed by now, an advice show. Uh, and we're, you sent us your questions and we are going to do our very best to answer them. Which isn't very good. No, it's not no. good. There will also be skits, if you've never listened before. What? There'll be skits and sketches. <laughs> and bits. There'll and be batches. bits. Okay. Uh, here's the first question. For my job, one of the things I've always had to do is stock the work fridge full of snacks. Once. What a weird part of someone's, someone's adult job to it. have. Someone's got to do it. Okay. I'm the CEO of Apple. What? <laughs> I live in Kansas City. (laughs) Once, kind of as a joke, I got Go-Gurts. Much to my surprise, they were almost immediately gone. So I restocked them and have been doing so for the last two and a half years. (laughs) That's a lot of Go-Gurts. That's a lot of Go-Gurts. Mamma Mia. (laughs) (laughs) Recently, the grocery store I go to stopped stocking them. So I stopped buying them for work. That'll teach them. Yesterday, my boss's boss came up to my desk. Mind you, this is the first time I've ever formally met this person. And asked if there's anything I can do to get the Gogurts back. <laughs> Brothers, how do we get more Gogurt? <laughs> then that's from hurting for a Gurton. <laughs> Good. It's very In good. In case hurting for a girl. <laughs> it's excellent. Are you are you here? Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay. That's, so, that sounds like someone who doesn't know how to source Gogurt. Hey, real quick, just by a round of applause, if you live in this region and could buy Gogurt tomorrow, please applaud. Okay. Thank you. This was my suspicion. Just tell the truth. You didn't want to buy Gogurt anymore. I get it. No, They're pricey. No. I, I do understand if you go to the place closest to your house and they have everything but Gogurt, the idea of being like, time to make a second stop for the Gogurt. For my job. Gross. Yeah, but, but like, what is this store that's like, I don't know, we sell through all this Gogurt all the time, but it's just one person. Maybe we should stop selling it. I'm worried them. about them. <laughs> we have to stop selling it, but they're eating eight Gogurts a day. Maybe you've maximized efficiency so much that word has spread 
that Gogurt is the new work fuel. Oh, because it's so quick and convenient. You, no spoons? I can, no bowls to wash? I could blast down a Gogurt in... Can we get a Gogurt to try it out? If we can have uh, a... No. Yeah, Paul, Gogurt? No, we don't have any Gogurt. If I need there. gut bacteria in the next 11 seconds... There is no way. I would swear on a sack of Bibles that there is no bacteria in Gogurt whatsoever. <laughs> It's, I mean, not the good kind. It's not probiotic. I was going to say it's antibiotic, but that we probably would have heard it about that. Huh? If it had Wait, properties. why are both of those things good? Where's the middle ground? Where's just biotic? Antibiotic is good. Probiotic is good. It's when they get out of, out of whack. It's like midichlorians. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> That's Too why many. Jamie Lee Curtis can move things with her mind. Goker is like the new Soylent for people that like to have a good time. Yeah. It's a com- Go-Gurt is a complete meal. It's got go, it's got gurt, it's everything you need for the day. It's got cream, it's got flavor, it's got cold. And sometimes there's SpongeBob on the, on the package. Yeah. yeah. Company only, is only given 25 second breaks. That's perfect time to just <laughs> slurp it down. You can do that as you walk to your one bathroom break for the day. <laughs> no problem. You remember the commercials for like Yo Play Fruit at the bottom where they Mm, mix it up a little bit and then mm, and it's like I've got reports to file yeah. I've got clients I need to interface with Put the fruit at the top in the middle in the bottom I'm busy I'm no fruit to just no fruit just cream fast fast cream and I could crush it to my face what about go yes they should call it fast cream for business Sometimes when I'm on my way to do brain surgery and I only have a little bit of time between brains, yeah. I need a quick go I need a very fast... I'm an adult doctor with responsibilities. <laughs> and a hunger for cream. Give me a go with Anna on it. They do need to have, like, it can still be the same stuff in the thing, but do have it be, say, fast, fast cream for business on the label. Yeah. And have, like, someone they with... They should have a line of go It's <laughs> just, like, black and white with, like, a oh, businessman in a suit. Like, huh, mm. time to go. Mm, this tastes like tobacco. Mm, good. <laughs> mm. Is this resin? Cedar. I love this. <laughs> you, 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 I don't know how good of a job you do at your job, but if you've ever watched Survivor you know that you want to be the one person that knows how to fish because they're not going to vote you off right away because they'll get hungry. Unless you're a big person, in which case they are going to cut you loose as soon as you yeah, hit the merge. Yeah, a big, strong person, they'll get, you, get rid of you at the merge. But the point is, I, you can't be sure that you are not hanging on by a gogurt. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> Gugert. You can be Gugert. the one person that knows how to get gogurt because apparently the boss's boss can't get their own gogurt. They have to come to you, their dealer. If, if another human being, the Gert Smith, <laughs> yeah. if another human being who is in charge of people who are in charge of people has to lower themselves to ask you, another human being, what can we do to get more gogurt? Yeah. That it's, was not it. That person had to psych themselves over that conversation for days. Like, no, I'm just going to ask him. I'm going to ask him today, honey. I'm going to no, you can't. I have to. I don't I know where to, to get it. Uh, my productivity's down some. I can't do it without Gogurt. It's also an optics thing, though, because uh, if you're somebody's boss's boss, you can't roll up to the Kroger and be like, hmm, 12 packages of Gogurt for me, please. I'm going to the opera later. <laughs> So you're saying the employees at this Kroger are like, wait a minute, you're a boss. You can't be buying Kroger. <laughs> no, 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 kids. not just a boss, a super boss. A super you're turbo a super boss. boss. You have bosses that answer you. Um, fantastic. I hope that helps. Go to another store. I had you right early. Yeah, I have a, I've got a Gogurt guy in Kansas City I can hook you up with. He's, he's got... The special swamp berry flavor from that was a promotion for Shrek Forever After. <laughs> it's gonna cost you extra, but y- your coworkers will taste the difference. It's a finely aged go- <laughs> mm. <laughs> You can tell mm. from the it's gogurt cheese. You can tell from the rind on the outside. It's perfect. It's ready. Oh, this is this is funky. Yeah. I, can I say that this is funky? This is a funky gogurt, and I love it. Is this frozen? No, it's no. just solid. No, it's, yeah. I'm sorry, by the way. I'll, I'll pack up my things and go. <laughs> I work at a college, and my coworkers and I... Yeah, for college? okay. Yeah, college is good, if you want. 
I work at a college, and my coworkers and I volunteered to help some nursing students with a disaster simulation. I was giving closed head, sorry, I, I think that should be, uh, I was given, 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 although I do like, you're giving closed head wound, you're giving <laughs> massive trauma. Category is it. closed head wound. I was given closed head wound, which basically means a concussion. My coworkers were given more intense injuries, and some even used moulage. Ooh, which I course, don't know what that we means. We all know moulage is the art. Of I do know what it is. What go is on. it? No, you go. Make <laughs> makeup. You say. Is it like decoupage? No, but I can listen to you say that word all day. Is it like? Decoupage. You say it like a spy in like a 1940s movie delivering a secret. Ah, my friends. Is it makeup? Is it like blood make? Blood it's makeup? like a cast. Okay, that's fine. Um, so fucking funny. <laughs> I've been asked to participate again, and while I know it's important to have people with minor injuries, brothers, I want to know how I can beef up my performance. That's from It's Only a Flesh Wound. Are you here? All right. All right, good. Now, the first thing I do have to say before we move on is that there are no small injuries. Yeah. <laughs> um, as we've They can seen, get terribly infected and kill you at so any point. So true. Travis or Griffin, one of them once got a pine tree needle stuck in yes. their foot, had to go in for surgery. Anything can spiral out of control at any time. I got a kidney stone, little old thing stuck in my pee-pee works. Took, took G-Man out of commission for the better part of a month. So they had to send Dennis Quaid in there in a tiny submarine to get it true. out. That's true. Had to blast it. Anything could happen. I got a boner and crushed a man inside of me. Unrelated, those two things. And that's what happened to Randy Quaid. <laughs> if you're curious, he's still mad at Griffin. For you killed my his... brother. You killed my tiny bro brother with your boner. Again. Again. <laughs> That's how I lost Ralph Quaid. Um, he was the best of us. Um, you didn't Randy Quaid get inside my wiener. <laughs> no, Randy didn't. In this fiction, no. Dennis did, was killed by your boner, and it made Randy so mad. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying Randy Quaid was shrunk down in a urinal and like shot up my pee stream. So the here's other way, what you could do. Screaming, hey, so boys, I'm back. No, okay, so hey. So here's one thing you could do. Because my wiener kidnapped Randy Quaid one in the 90s. One thing you could do. You do the concussion. That's child's play. Anybody could do that. Yeah. But you also add on another injury. Just sort of on the side. Just sort of along the way. Hey, while you're looking at this, is this normal? And then you pull aside your tuxedo jacket and you get a knife wound in there. Yeah, it's, it's like, got to be good, too. It can't yeah. just like, I got a hurt elbow or whatever, like a piece of rebar through. And yeah. you have like, you know, it's like uh, one of those arrows through the head, but it's rebar. One they do That's on an old noticed. Sweeps Week episode of Grey's Anatomy. Yeah. And then the other students, oh, there's a bomb in my tummy. Something yeah, like yeah. that. The other students are like, hey, she's doing it again. She's adding other injuries that we're not supposed to do. What? No, I'm not. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. I gotta follow my blade. They said that they have an alien in their head, and that's why the injuries. I did not. I did not. It's in my tummy. Um, <laughs> Where aliens belong. You could draw like a with black marker, like a crack on your head, and it'd be like, "This is a this is a real humdinger of a concussion yeah. I got over here." It could be the story behind the concussion. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh. It could be like what. Ha it's not related to the to the uh, hurricane that happened. No, it's just like here's what ha like I got a concussion from a long time ago. It's a long time <laughs> concussion I've been meaning to see somebody about, and maybe you could help me with that. It always acts up during hurricanes. I got a concussion. <laughs> oh, so there's bad. a hurricane coming! Oh, oh, my concussion! <laughs> oh, what if the concussion gave you psychic powers, and now they have to deal with that? Hey, I got phenomenon, and now I can I have psychic powers. I got a concussion so bad, I fell on this knife. So I need you to do both of them for me. The knife hit me real hard yeah. and then bounced into my tummy. It phenomenoned me. I did get telekinesis, but I do not know how to use it. Exhibit A, the knife. The knife Trying to cut gut. a steak, instead I cut a me. 
Well, maybe you will get a better injury sure. next time. That's always possible. Or trade with somebody lazy. Yeah. yeah. Somebody would love a concussion. Yeah. That way you don't you can just show up tired. <laughs> nobody would be would bad enough. I'm gonna go to sleep. Wait, no! <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> or you could show up with rebar through your body and just be like, you can't give me something else. I'm you gotta dress for the wound you want, you know? Yes. Yes. Also, how good are you all at fixing stuff? Because I do actually yeah. need... This is not makeup. This is... I need medical attention right now. But please be careful. I'm just borrowing the rebar. I do have to take it back. My dad's going to be so <laughs> pissed if I don't get his rebar back to him. He's a foreman. The office I work in in downtown KC, that's Kansas City has a big open staircases down the middle of the building, and I get the pleasure of sitting directly in front of them on the second floor. Every time someone walks down the stairs, I have severe anxiety that I will look up, make eye contact, and cause someone to trip. <laughs> and then we will have locked eye contact for the duration of their fall. I, Are you a gyroscope? Yeah, I don't think that... <laughs> That part I don't think will happen, to be clear. How do I ensure that I'm not the cause of these falls? Should I avoid eye contact at all times, or will that make me seem unfriendly and standoffish? That's from Stress Star Stair Watcher in Kansas City, Missouri. Are you here? All right. Way back there, because you know you can't make eye contact with us. With your incredible hypnotic eye contact <laughs> sends people to their doom. I'm pretty sure this is the plot of While You Were Sleeping. Is it? I don't think that's right. And I... it's so old that it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> that's my new persona, by the way. Yeah, guy who doesn't like While You Were Sleeping. What a, what a shithead. Who likes that guy? That movie's great. Nobody is going to look, like, after they fall and the police arrive, presumably. <laughs> no one is going to say, it was, it was her. She did it. She locked me with eye contact and then I beefed it. It was all her fault. The alternative, because it could be just as likely they, they really wanted to make eye contact with you and were terribly distracted by the fact that you would not look at their eyeballs. That's true. I, okay, but here's the problem, Justin. You're right the first time. But after it happens five or six never times... It's never happened. It's never... I want to be clear. It's but never But this happened. is because they're being careful now. Super clear. Love it. Has not happened. But well, I, this is fun because you guys are like the good... Like the angel and the devil of anxiety on my shoulders. It's like, if you look at someone, they will trip. And Justin's like, nah, dog, don't worry about it. But Travis's anxiety, like, yeah, man, it's definitely for sure... For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm just saying there's a middle ground between the fifth or sixth time. It's the and third it time. The third, no, the third it's time. The first then. time. But if you're saying it hasn't happened or it's happened six times, the middle ground is three. No, the middle time is one time because it will never happen. It All right. could happen. Okay, listen. Though. Listen. Let's advice. The whole time you ever see anyone walking down the stairs, just go, don't trip, don't trip, do not trip. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at the stairs. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Grab the rail. Grab the rail. I will say, you know what? Point of order, any time that I've ever made eye contact with someone I don't know, it did prompt me to immediately focus extremely hard on what I was doing at that exact That's second. That's true. If I even fleetingly saw, was looking at someone, they look up back at me, I'm immediately like fascinated by the art of walking down the stairs. Yes. I've never done anything so compelling in my entire life. Yeah, if I know someone's watching me navigate stairs, I'm going to want to do the best damn job I can going down those stairs. Really? I might even Kelly do like a funky yeah. little step. Like, ah, cha -cha -cha. That's how you fall down. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's <laughs> not <laughs> your fault at all. It's hubris. You, you like this shit? What? <laughs> Whoa. I deserve that. It's not on you, it's on me! It's on me, I tried to see you walk down the stairs! <laughs> <laughs>
I'm Travis McElroy. You might know me as the middlest brother from My Brother, My Brother and Me, a podcast that you're currently listening to. But I'm also a language enthusiast. Yes, that's correct. Language. I love it. But how does it work, you ask? Well, it's easy. You learn the you learn the words and uh, you learn what they mean, and then you can say them to people, and then they they so then they understand. You get it, right? Well, if you don't get it, and I'm starting to think that perhaps I don't, you can check out Babbel. Babbel is the language learning app that sold more than ten million subscriptions. It's fun. It's easy to use. I've used it to practice French. I enjoy it. Uh, I find the lessons easy to understand and fun to do. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson, so you can start having real-life conversations in a new language in as little as three weeks. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts. And with Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. So right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash mybrother. That's babbel.com slash my brother for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. I also can't recommend this enough, but you should be checking out Stitch Fix at this point because, listen, we all have those clothes, you know, and you're like, this is what looks good on me. I'm, I don't know. Is there something else? I don't know. But when you walk into a store, maybe you're overwhelmed or you don't even know where to start, that's what Stitch Fix is for because it's time to update your style. It is, all right? So maybe you need a little nudge to find some new looks. Stitch Fix will help you out. I've done it. I've been using Stitch Fix for literally years now, and I've been able to upgrade my wardrobe, I would say, uh, 99% of the time if somebody says, that's a great shirt, or those are great pants, or where did you get those shoes? The answer is Stitch Fix. So first, you take a few minutes to set up your Stitch Fix style profile, answer a few questions about what you like to wear, what you don't, and, you know, like styles you're open to, that kind of thing. And then they have expert stylists that will go to work finding items that work for you, that fit your size, style, and your budget, which is one of my favorite parts. And they will send you five pieces to try on at home. You keep what you love, send back what you don't, you only pay for what you keep. Shippings, returns, and exchanges are easy and free. So sign up today at stitchfix.com slash mybrother to get $20 off your first purchase. That's stitchfix.com slash mybrother to get $20 off your first purchase. Limited time offer. Apply within two days of sign up. And listen, before you go, don't go, wait, stop, don't go anywhere. Make sure to check out the Approach to the Wizard shirt over at McElroyMerch.com, designed by Dana Wagner, and 10% of all merch proceeds this month will go to the Trans Youth Equality Foundation. Uh, pre-orders for the uh, Adventure Zone 11th Hour are available now. You can go to theadventurezonecomic.com to pre-order. Thank you to everybody who came out to see us in Salt Lake City, Portland, and San Diego. Uh, if you want to get tickets for our next tour, it's Washington, D.C., Detroit, and Cincinnati in November. Get those tickets at bit.ly slash McElroy Tours. And mask and proof of full vaccination or negative COVID test within 72 hours of event start is required. So uh, thank you and enjoy the rest of the episode. Hi, my name is Graham Clark, and I'm one half of the podcast Stop Podcasting Yourself, a show that we've recorded for many, many years. And uh, at the moment, instead of being in person, we're recording remotely, and uh, you wouldn't even notice. You don't even notice the lag. That's right, Graham. And uh, the great thing about Uh, this... Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay. Okay, go ahead. And you can listen to us uh, every week on MaximumFun.org. Or wherever you get your podcasts. Your podcasts. Hi, it's me, Dave Hill, from before. Here to tell you about my brand new show on Maximum Fun, the Dave Hill Good Time Hour, which combines my old Maximum Fun show, Dave Hill's podcasting incident, with my old radio show, The Goddamn Dave Hill Show, into one new futuristic program from the future. If you like delightful conversation with incredible guests, technical difficulties, and actual phone calls from real-life listeners, you've just hit a street called easy. I'm also joined by my incredible co-host, the boy criminal Chris Gersbeck. 
Say hi, Chris. Hey, Dave. It's really great That's to... That's enough, Chris. And New Jersey chicken rancher, Des. Say hi, Des. Hey, Dave. The Dave Hill Good Time Hour. Brand new episodes every Friday on Maximum Fun. Plus, the show's not even an hour. It's 90 minutes. Take that, stupid rules. We nailed it. Wait, is this right? This can't be right. Here, now? We're trying to do a live show and there's a haunted doll watch? I, I am so, so sorry and like honestly embarrassed. Let's meet our first guest. Positive Leroy. <laughs> well, his full name is Positive Leroy. Died in fire. <laughs> Positive Leroy died in fire. Still positive though. He don't have no limits. He's positive Leroy and died in a fire. Oh no. no! This is 18 year old Leroy. He passed away a long time ago in, you guessed it, a fire. He's obsessed with girls now, as any 18-year-old would be. A little heteronormative for my taste, but all right. He had a girlfriend when he passed and watched over her until she went to heaven. Why is Positive Leroy wearing small Zubas? <laughs> Why is he shrugging so Why hard? Why does he have David Spade's haircut? Nobody knows. <laughs> He said he's stuck here, but won't explain why. It's because he's a doll. He wants the babes. He loves... No babes in heaven. No babes in heaven. Please show him love and compassion. Know that, yes, he may flirt with you. Ooh! Huge. Don't give in. This beautiful boy, positive Leroy. He's died kind, in fire. Died in fire. <laughs> he's kind and so. No, please, Mr. Died in Fire was my dad. Call me positive Leroy. He likes to communicate through the Necrophonic app, K2, Pendulum, and lights up cat balls. I don't know what that means, but let's go with it. They're cat toys that light up. If you have any questions, please message me. I have a few. Your experience may be different from mine. I assure you, it is. I can, just from that, uh, that's positive Leroy. Look he's at his first, little toes. He's like so beautiful and special. I don't think he's that creepy. And he's shrugging like, dying no fire. <laughs> it's a, but it's <laughs> a living. Thanks for the cardigan. Wait, this can't be right. Another haunted doll? <laughs> this one's negative Leroy. Gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Lauren. Neutral Lauren. Lived in fight. Whoa! <laughs> No, no, no! That's Lauren. This is a, a, a hateful brooch. Haunted dolls acted metaphysical. It's Lauren. I love that this spirit is so fun. Can I tell you what's weird, Griffin? What? That's a mirror. I love that this spirit is so fun. Yeah. She is, is a, it? She is a mysterious lady, this one. She will always change her name and voice. Her story has yet to be consistent. She often says the name Lauren, so I'm going with that. Shit. <laughs> Lauren likes to just have fun with you. You'll hear her skipping, whistling. With what body? You'll hear her skipping, whistling. Falling laughing. down the, some stairs. Rolling. <laughs> Only if you make eye contact with her. She also likes to show shadows. Lauren is very bubbly. And wait, a, wait a second. Yeah, that's the, that's the way it shakes uh, out. Don't do that that fast because it makes it alive. Whoa! No! It's yeah. looking at me with that picture. Oh, no. She also likes to show shadows. Lauren is very bubbly and always happy for reasons that honestly escape me. Uh, she is a fun spirit to have in a home. No! Paul! Oh. Oh. Why did you do, why did you spend so much time on this animation, Paul? Lauren is very bubbly and always happy. She's a fun spirit to have in a home. No returns. How did she die, though? She didn't. <laughs> this is a living person's face <laughs> adhered to an old picture frame. You ever seen Doctor Who? 
Yeah. If you choose to adopt her into your life, please understand something of great importance. You got ripped off. <laughs> Spirits do not always reveal themselves immediately. They do not perform on command. You need to give them time and space. Sometimes it happens right away, but it's quite rare. More often than not, a spirit needs months to feel comfortable well past the return window. <laughs> right. To feel comfortable enough to begin showing activity. By then, you won't even remember where you got it. Yeah. And I'll have canceled this account. <laughs> Bye. Bye. It also depends on your own experience with the paranormal at times. I've had experiences right away, but usually... I'll hear from them a month or even up to six months later when things are happening, finally. I cannot stress it enough. Give spirits time. Give them space. Remain open-minded and you will be amazed. God, it's still there, Paul. It's still there, Paul. Hey, this... so here, so uh, we've been taking Haunted Doll Watch in some interesting new directions as we delve deeper into metaphysical eBay, and I'm so excited about our next offering, our third and final offering. Paul, if you'd be so kind. What? Yes. He's, well, he's my favorite SoundCloud rapper. Now, what do we have on offer here? Well, my friends, it's a wish from the Lord of Jaquitswa, no. billionaire King Jin. Now, I was worried with this that when I saw the word Jaquitswa, I thought that I w might be stumbling into some like cultural territory that's outside of my. No, no, no. That's a made up word for this <laughs> okay, exact okay. thing. Google it. This is the only thing that comes up. So you can get a wish from the Lord of Jaquitswa, billionaire King Jin. This is one wish. I mean, no big. Like, it's, it's a wish from the Lord of Jaquitswa, billionaire King Jin. Manifest your desires into reality, powerful and unique to Godmaster healers. Hey, I'm a snake. What do you need? <laughs> what do you need? I'm a big snake. What, what do you, you need? need? Venom, hissing sound? Oh, you want I'm money? I'm not Jaquitza, but I know him. I can... Not available anywhere else. One would hope. Supercharge your life with real magic. Unique secret magic to God's master healers. First time being offered to the public. Boys, let me ask you a few questions. Yeah, sure. Are you tired of being poor? Yes. Yeah. Do you want obscene amounts of money? Absolutely. Wait, obscene? Would you like money coming to you from all directions? I would all, love wait, that. Wait, all directions? Fancy giving up your day job and live your dreams? Uh, yeah, I would love to do that the most. You would not see me on this stage again. Have you had enough just making ends meet? Yeah. I may have the answer. A billionaire gin from my own personal collection. <laughs> but wait. wait, this this needs to be clarified immediately. We're not buying a gin. No. No. You get one wish. And not only that, I saw it on the page. You get a note card to write your wish. Let me finish. Okay. Billionaire gin. I'm offering one wish from my own billionaire gin. Lord of Jaquitswa is over 42,813 years old. What? Wait, wow. oh, over that. Over that, so, so several like, months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 42,813 and a half. And a half. Years old and comes from first generation of Jaquitswa. My family. birthday is in <laughs> September. <laughs> but go ahead and let me rent a car, please. Be this, cool. This billionaire Jen has plenty of experience in complex money-making rituals. I have owned him just over 11 years and always help me realize my financial dreams. It's worth noting, this is on sale for $50. Uh, it's 50 pounds, actually. Sorry, 50 which pounds, is... which is roughly, let's see, $65 and $18 shipping. So the financial dreams can't have been that fully realized, no. right? Well, uh, that's what it is. This is part of it. It's like, I would like to have a billion dollars, too. Like, you can. So we're going to set up an eBay account, my dude. And you and me together. This is how we're going to do it. You're going to sell wishes for me. Bing, bang, boom. And then you're going to hire people and they're going to sell wishes for you. I it's the world's first pyramid scheme. Now, this is I live scheme. in a pyramid. I'm a big snake. I'm a big, big snake. <laughs> I cannot we love pyramids. I cannot guarantee the time or how your wish will manifest, but it will happen in time. It may be months. It may be 40,000 years. It may be years. Be careful what you wish for, as it cannot be reversed. It's like hiring Dan Aykroyd and Gertz Point Blank. It cannot be reversed. It is not if it will work or not. But do you really want what you are asking for one more time? It is not if it will work or not. But do you really want what you're asking for? The sad truth is, 
Most people spend their lives not knowing what they really want in life. Oh. You have provided several helpful prompts of what this gin can supply to, you. To be fair, they were all money-based. And what if you write to the gin and I'm like, I would like to be happy? And it's like, oh, I can't do that. Do you want some money? <laughs> Important. This is in all caps. I don't yeah. think that's right. It'll be like this. Somewhere between those two. Important. I do not want to know your wish. Please do not message me. It's birthday wish rules. Or okay. let me know your wish in the order details. Keep it secret. Please. For your sake and your immortal soul. Wait, Holy what? shit, what? You heard me. I'm not responsible for how your wish manifests. I will not offer refunds or return on this wish pact. <laughs> I will send you a pre-charged magical card with my gin's energy. All you need to do is write your wish on the card and hide it. That is all. And hide it? <laughs> the gin will hide do it. the rest. That simple. No spells or bindings. Hide it well enough so that your wife does not come home and say, hey, sweetheart. What on earth is this? <laughs> uh, that you? right there? That's a 50-pound wish, my friend. 50-pound well spent. I have limited wish cards available. Once the billionaire Jen has placed his limit, I will end this listing forever. <laughs> Buy it now before it's too late. We gotta get this fucking note card. I mean... And then wish for at least 51 pounds. I'm not yeah. dabbling in these dark arts. Anyway, that's our Haunted Doll watch. Oh, boy. Episode. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry to interrupt. This is tour manager Paul with an important interruption. I promise it's important because this is the first ever GERT alert. I have a very important update relating to GoGurt, and I really kind of have to show you rather than tell you. Okay. Okay. Can we get some GERT? Oh, awesome. Hell yeah, my dude. Oh, cool. Hey. I'm not doing this, but this will be the live show that you saw Griffin house a whole gogurt because he said he could. Thank you, Paul. Um, now Come Griff on. I'm not, absolutely not. I don't even like yogurt. I, I thought, like really I yogurt. thought you were cool. Okay, everybody ready to film this great gogurt race? Two brothers, both count, alike in dignity. Down. Not a sponsor, Gogurt. I need you to count down, Justin. Okay, you guys ready? Well, Hold count on. down with me. We'll do three, two, I'm one. Go. Fucking we'll do bark. three, two, one. Gogurt. You ready? Okay. I gotta burp. Hold on. Wait. Uh, okay, wait. Hold on. Ready. I'm ready. gonna burp. Okay. Three, two, one. Gogurt. You guys are in for a raunchy night. Bob, that say. was good. Was it good? That was good as hell, my dude. That was really fucking good, Gogurt. I get it. That company, they're Jesus on some next level Christ. shit. If that was alcoholic, that's a party right there. I love that, man. You gotta do it. I'll, I'll sip it one casually. <laughs> no, make, make an evening of it. Juice, juice, just sip it. Sip it while we answer the audience questions. Uh, someone is at the microphone. Come on down. Let's begin. Hi. Hi. Um, who, who are oh, you? Oh, was it too spicy? I don't yike it. I don't yike it. It's I don't too like spicy. I don't yike it. Hi. Hi, uh, my name is Michael. Hi, Michael. I like your jacket. I love that look, Michael. Thank you, sir. Yeah, get get right point. up on that microphone. So, Michael, your sentence that you sent us was, Brothers, should I keep digging this big hole under my house? I'm going to take an early guess at no, but I'm going to need more context. Okay, so uh, my wife and I recently got a new oh, house, or oh, it's a very old house, yeah. and well, we started doing some renovating and dug under some concrete, Yeah, yeah. and we found like a brick archway. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. And, we, and so we started digging. Are there any runes? This season on a coast I, of Oak Island. I, I haven't checked yet, but we're about to- You like, didn't check for runes, Michael? Did, Michael, they'd be Travis, glowing. I looked- but, all right, we're seven feet in at this point. I can stand, I'm a pretty tall gentleman. Yeah. And I can stand completely in this hole and just, just hide. Vanish, yeah, sure. Have you, okay. We haven't hit the bottom yet. Of the archway? No, well, it's a completely flat wall. It's like plastered in. Okay. Holy so, shit. So, Weren't I you worried about hitting pipes? What if you had hit pipes? Or demons? At a certain point, I either have to keep going or I have to stop. What yeah, do those I do? are the options. Yeah. yeah. If you dig if you dig half a hole, that's really not anything, is it? 
So you haven't, you have not exhumed the entire archway, is what you're saying? Not completely. I mean, you have to get the archway out, Michael. What do I, wait, what else can I Let do? Me ask you this you can film it for TikTok, how grow I, up. Yeah. yeah, you should have been filming this whole time. Look, how, how much of an archaeological background do you have to, that qualifies you to this exhumation? I'm, also, did you call fucking 411 to make sure you're not going to zap yourself, you goofball? We, we did check that there's no electrical going through it. it well, they just, asked, like, wh- out of curiosity, why are you digging a big hole under your house? Did you ask about ley lines between there's, archways? What if you punch through the archway and there's more house in there? Let him talk! There's a big hole under my house. Yeah, we, okay, yeah, that's, so, that's, that's established. established. That's not new information, Don't waste Michael. my fucking time, Michael. I'm drinking Gogurt. I have places to be. Did you get another Gogurt? I wanted to know if the banana one was good or not. <laughs> not as good as strawberry? It's not. Michael. I'm scared that I will... Yes. Your under- house will fall on you? No, no. Okay. Because it's like a hundred... 10 year old house. Yeah, yeah. so it's definitely no way, fine. Yeah, no way it would fall I'm, on you. I'm scared that I'm either going to unleash something yes. or find treasure, and I don't know what Wait, to do. Wait, why are you scared of treasure? Don't be scared. Well, because then. Open then, your heart. No, because then everybody comes knocking. Oh, yeah. Hey, Michael, I heard you, hit, you fit, struck gold. Um, uh, Mike, can I say there's a third option you should be afraid of, which is you do a lot of work and find nothing? Yeah, but like... I already found a kick-ass archway. I already found a cool archway. Michael, I I am sorry to be the one to tell you this, but you do have to keep going. If you do half of this, it's nothing. Half of this is nothing. That's true. Thank you. You'll tell this story to people, and they'll be like, so? And you'll be like, so I covered it up and watched Wheel of Fortune. Like, that's nothing. That's nothing. You have to finish. You have yeah. to finish. In fact, I would go so far as to say, like, invite people over and make a day of it. Yeah. yeah. You know, ha- ha- many hands make light exhumation of the weird archway. Um, just get, s- get some friends in. And, and, you know, if a demon shows up, you got a little, maybe a little meat between you and them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you sure. a little time to, to... Yeah, don't invite your best friends. Yeah. Invite yeah, yeah, people yeah. you know. Your strong, bad friends. <laughs> if the moon is full, maybe throw a tarp over that shit. Yeah. If you hear whispers from inside that sound like long lost loved ones, don't tarp go. It. Tarp, tarp, yeah, tarp, tarp yeah. it's so hard. It, the, you, as bad as you want to know the truth, the archway wants you even more. Yeah, Michael. yeah. You have to know that. Does that help, Michael? That helps. Thank Exquisite. you. Exquisite. Thank you. Uh, next, please. Oh, thank oh, thank you, yes, Amanda. Nice. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Look at that. Mask. Fast travel with our manager, Amanda, with our debonair cape. Okay. And she's gone. <laughs> Back into the night. Thank you, Tuxedo Mask. Hello. 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 Hi. Hey. Are you a fancy moth person, or is that just what I'm gathering from the antennae? They're horns. They're, They're okay. horns, horns, obviously, Travis. <laughs> Monroe, you said, can I bring my unicycle into places I've ridden to and set it in a corner while I go about my business? And, I mean, my immediate answer is only if you want to walk home, but go on. <laughs> More yeah. details. So my car broke down this week, and my only way to get around is with my unicycle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I'm wondering if I can bring it in places and, like, ask the cashier. Do you have a unicycle parking section? I don't, and I don't have a bike lock, because I didn't have one before, and I'd have to go out of my way There's to There's no way to now. secure a unicycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. You screwed yeah. it up out. It's so streamlined and steel. Wait, no, hold on. <laughs> Let them finish, because the rest of that was ask the cashier to what? To watch it while I get uh-huh, groceries. Okay. Well, you know that's unacceptable, right? You know yeah. that's not it. Monroe, you could just, you should just carry it. Cause what or if keep riding it. What if there's a long hallway? You want to be ready for that. You'll be so mad if you see a long hallway and you're like, God damn it. If only I had my unicycle, I could breeze through this. You could also, oh, here's the move, right? You take it and you look at the cashier and you go, where do you usually keep these? <laughs> yeah, at this point, like, unicycle? I have a unicycle. Where? Where's your unicycle? Oh, I thought this was a high-class establishment. Well, can you give me, what, so are you talking about, like, grocery shopping? Is that the kind of thing, experience you're talking about that you ride your unicycle to? Yeah, or can I, like, take it to class and put it in the corner? No, you can't do yeah. that. Um, <laughs> unless it's clown college. <laughs> unless, I would say if you go to the grocery store, it's okay if you buy three round objects of similar <laughs> weight and size. 
see, but I can't do anything with those. Uh-huh. I mean, you could, as long as you have like a big stick and equally weighted things on either end, you could do yeah, that, that too. Yeah, that could be good. I'd watch that all day. Here's what I would say. Oh, no, this point, I immediately poked a hole in my own point, but I'll say it anyway. Who's going to steal a unicycle? Because very few people know how to ride those home, but I could just pick that shit up. Yeah. I've had one stolen from me before. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I want to know that story. My parents left the garage open and it disappeared. Wow. Yeah. But you think it would be easily identified later as the only other unicycle in town. Yeah, if you see someone riding it, that's yours. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you tape two of them together yeah. and you're like, oh, that could be a bicycle. Time for a little frontier justice. Get it back. Does KC have like a very active unicycle scene? Holy shit, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that was... <laughs> I thought a goof, but um, okay, then yeah, apparently it's pretty competitive. Don't ever let that shit out of your sight. It's, it's starting to sound like you could just take someone else's home with you. Yeah. Uh, does, that, does that help? Sounds like the answer is no. Just, no. just fuse it with your legs and become Gizmo Duck. Yes. We can't keep giving that answer. Um. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sam, the person that asked the Gogurt question initially, asked if they could have a Gogurt. Uh, if they yeah. could have one, so I'll just leave one. No, just you, did you have one? Did you eat one yet? With I did. I'm, I'm actually like savoring it. I'm kind of having a good time just in eating goat. In fact, you know what? Actually, Sam, never mind. These are our Gogurts. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Gabriella, hello. Hi. You Hi. sent many sentences, which we frown upon, and now we will shame you publicly. <laughs> No, they were good sentences, though. Basically, there's a fish tank pickup you're looking to make with baggage. Yes. Go on. So I grew up with fish, and I really want a fish tank. In the sea? (laughs) I wish. Is this like a raised by wolves scenario? It's a reverse limpet. Okay, we we got a reverse limpet limpet tonight. We got to make a good impression. So um, I really want a fish tank, but I'm kind of lazy and cheap, so I'm not going to put in the money or the effort to actually do it myself. Fantastic. Yeah, it's a lot of fucking work. Sounds like another amazing (laughs) home for fish is in the works. Listen, I would take great care of them. Yeah, I'm sure. No doubt. So my brother is giving his away. Um, The only issue is I have to take the fish that he is giving away as well and I really don't want them, and I don't know what to do with them. I would rather just pick my own cool fish. Yeah. yeah. His, um, fish, his fish suck. They suck, and I don't know, like... <laughs> they're, they real, they're real betas. <laughs> Proud of you. Is the problem that they're not good kinds of fish, or that the fish themselves have bad attitudes? Bad attitudes in it. Yeah. What are we talking about? What kind of fish? They are sucker fish. Sucker fish? Wait, hold yeah. on. They're, those, are, those are nice. They keep the tank clean. Uh, but like, Don't, <laughs> like, we're not here to critique okay. Gabrielle Stacey's and fish. <laughs> right. Well, kind what of. kind of fish are you looking to get? What kind of cool fish? I love like mollies, yeah. guppies. Yeah. Not a sucker. Fish. Why do I have to be here for this? Come on, Gabriella. <laughs> Is You're your brother? If you can throw your brother's fish in the toilet, you can. I, you can. I asked if I can flush them down the toilet. You can't flush them down the toilet. You can put them in a pond or something. Don't some do that. Shit. Don't do that with sucker fish. They grow so big. Yeah. They will ruin the, whatever you put them in. So, like, oh, what no. do I do? Do I give them to a pet store? Oh, oh no. Do I'm, I try to sell them on Craigslist? I'm woefully unqualified to answer this question. I'm realizing this, this is a real <laughs> stakes. There are real fish souls on the line here. I can't just blow yeah, these. You should take them to a fish store and give them to them. See if you can trade them for better fish. I'll give you four sucker fish for two mollies. Undercut people as they come in to buy a fish. Like, don't waste money on these department store fish. That's good. I got some, some boys these are that need a f- home right here. These are farm to tank fish right here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen. Buy, buy my brother's idiot fish. <laughs> it's, either the, it's either you or the toilet, friend. What do you think? You taking home these beautiful fish today? Does that, is, that, is that anything? Is that anything? It is actually that... is really helpful. I think I might try to trade them. So. Okay, yeah. Cool. Uh, awesome. Um, okay. Uh, hello. Hello. Hi. Tanner? Yes. Hello. Hi. 
What's, Hi. What's your, I mean, I know kind of what your question is. We considered yeah. doing it in the first part of the show, but then when we saw you send it in for this part of the show, we were like, there's, that's details. We, we need, gotta we fucking, the, I'll, yeah. just, I'll save the sentence. How do I get my boss to stop yelling frog bar at me? Okay, so there's a bit of history to this. Oh, uh, um, fucking, of course there is, Tanner. <laughs> So I'm in a design course in which one of our projects was to create a hypothetical business in yeah. which we were going to design like advertisements and social media for. Right. Um, so we initially thought about Cat Cafe, but someone mentioned something about frogs and we decided to make a frog bar. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, my design teacher is married to my boss. We presented the project. She loved it so much she kept telling my boss about it. Okay. And now every time my boss sees me, he'll be like, hey, frog bar. Yeah. <laughs> is it possible um, your boss has forgotten your name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but remembers the kick-ass frog bar idea, because I'll remember frog bar for the rest. I'll be on my deathbed like, frog, frog bar. bar. Right? But what does it mean? <laughs> hey, what's a frog bar, Tanner? No, wait, don't answer right away, because I want to guess. Give us a second. Okay, here's what it could be. Okay? Yeah. Obviously, it's a frog theme bar. Yeah. Better answer. We have, like, there's senior frogs. There's Frogland right. USA in Ironton, Ohio. Those are the two. Right. The two. So, other answer is, it's a place where you can go and really be a frog. Sorry, how do you figure? Well, you know how you're looking around, you're like, frogs got it good. <laughs> you know, they just sit around all day. Oh, it's like a, it's like a farp. It's like a frog yes. action role play. Yes, okay. thank you. Um, it could be a farp. Uh, it could be a bar where they serve different kinds of delicious frogs in different prepared different styles. No, Tanner's saying Tanner's no saying to that it's one. It's not that. Okay, I know that's the wrong. Listen, in Princess and the Frog, the animated feature film, I think we can all agree the curves you they gave those frogs are oh, yeah. out of this world. And I don't have a follow-up to that. It's just something I wanted to say out loud in front of an audience of friends. Those were, those were some filths. <laughs> <laughs> filths? Absolutely not. Tanner, free us. What's a frog bar? So mostly it's just a frog-themed bar, but we did hypothetically create like a side room where you could play with frogs if you were like for, feeling for it. a little extra. Yeah, yeah. like a cat cafe. <laughs> we, have several, hey. we have several tiers if of you, interactivity. If you've got the money, we've got the frogs, baby. The more you pay, the more stuff they'll do. <laughs> Well, you want to vet people These before you are so let them long, you wouldn't Stop. believe. Okay. You're not a cop, right? Okay. Hey, you have to tell us if you're a cop. <laughs> what, Tanner, what, what, you had to come up with a better bar idea than frog bar. N- this, obviously, that's not the, the quality of frog bar is not the fucking problem, No, Justin. but I'm saying if Tanner has a better Something that is stickier than frog bar for the boss. Which it sounds like very little would be. Yeah. Um. I got nothing. Tanner, you got an open frog bar, Tanner. Yeah. Tanner, just make your dream come true. Yeah, if you make frog bar, then you don't have to see your boss anymore. Oh, there's good. Yeah, open frog bar, and then you have a new boss. It's you. Right. And And you can hang a sign. You can hang a sign on the outside of Frog Bar with a picture of your boss on it that says, like, this boss is not allowed inside of this Frog Bar. This guy's a real frog you, you don't go to Frog Bar, right? Look, Tanner, there's a huge audience for Frog Bar. Does that help? Sure, yeah. Sure. Yeah, we just changed your life is all. Yeah, Golly. God, it's like Tony Robbins is up here all of a sudden. We're inspiring. Hey, so not shitty. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's next, yeah. Uh, Anybody else? Jenny, uh, last, last Jenny. audience question. Hello, Jenny. Hi. How's it going? Jenny, the, the question you sent in is, I'm living in someone's attic and don't know the etiquette of bringing home a suitor, tee hee. The tee he really sold it, by the way. Now, right off the bat, I have one question. The person knows you're living in the attic, right? Yeah. This yes. isn't like a parasite situation. No, fantastic. Not quite. Okay. So she Not owns quite? The house. No. <laughs> no, she knows I live there. I okay. pay her rent. Okay. Uh, she owns the home. Okay. It's an old home. I don't know 
I feel like you can hear everything there. She has a child. Uh, <laughs> when you enter... No, no, hold on. Can you say that last part again, but louder for the audience at home? She has an eight-year-old child. Eight years old, okay. They're, so they know. These kids They today. have the internet. Okay. Now, is it the kind of thing where in order to get to your attic abode, you have to go through the house? Yes. Okay, so there's okay. no way of bringing There's not like a ladder that you, you can ladder? slam up through the window like Actually, Sam from Clarissa I, explains it all? Jenny, I hate to bring down the mood, but you really should have a fire ladder if you're living in the attic. Yeah. In case of emergency. You Do you make, have an egress in case? You need case? to make a swift egress. Some way to get out? I don't. Jenny, you need to Jenny. figure that shit yeah, out Jenny, tonight. Actually, Jenny. I know that you love sex and stuff, but this is really... <laughs> this is you way more Especially, Jenny, I don't want to... If you're lighting candles or sitting the moon in any way like that, yeah, like putting is, some silk over yeah. a lamp or something, so that's so dangerous. going to be fire escape ladder. Huge. Something that unrolls in preferably seconds and would be great. you should probably talk to your friend that owns the place about your escape plan. And the numbers that you would and call where the meeting place is, and if you want to establish a code word, okay. a code word would be great. Okay, this is uh, and true. that's also good to set up a code word with suitors. Yes, <laughs> don't it can... make it the same code word for the love of God. Has is this? Uh, has your has the homeowner said something about this before? Is this a problem that has been brought to you? No. So okay. I have only lived in Kansas City for six months. But, okay. Uh, Okay, that's a weird... So that's a great, right? Yeah, that's a great period of time to live in Kansas City! Six months! Woo! Um, no, October for life! <laughs> Go on. I haven't ever brought anybody over because I'm very nervous about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 yeah, I understand that. And the only... I mean, okay, I don't know how to say this. Well, she, that, you don't have to, Jenny. That's never she, stopped us before. We just go it. for it. <laughs> She hasn't known that I've been there before, and she has brought over a man. And the oh. entire house shakes. This is my issue. Wait, hey, oh, first right. of all, no way. I'm having hell to- yeah, get it, landlord. Yeah, go for it. What? So it's I. I the, my hearing's bad. What did you say? You heard me. I'm gonna the make you. I didn't. Hi, uh, Justin. Jenny said that the landlord brought over a suitor, and when they. Made to love, pound town. the okay. entire house shook. Whoa! <laughs> All right, nice. So you actually have nothing to worry about, I guess? A precedent has been set. The problem if with... they say something the next day, just be like, I thought we got raunchy in here, <laughs> judging from your machinations. I thought also, was... can we get someone to come in and look at the joists, I guess? <laughs> yeah. Something is seriously <laughs> wrong. sexy about structural collapse. <laughs> Don't want to be found that way, and I know that helps, right? Jenny, we've saved your life twice today. I think that that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jenny. And thank you, if we could, uh, the house lights, if we could dim, dim the house lights, make them go away. They're beautiful, but they make me nervous. Thank, thank you. you there they go. And thank, thank you. you so much for coming. This has been so fun. Yeah. <laughs> you all are really, really fun people. Um, thank you to Paul Saborin, Amanda Freeberg. Thank you to... Rachel, for recording the this show. Thank, Thank you, you to the to, staff of the Midland Theater. It's yeah, been absolutely amazing. Thank you. It's been amazing. Uh, incredible, this is incredible, the incredible schmanners. Yeah, for opening the show up. Did you thank our dad? Thanks, uh, thank dad. You, dad. Thanks, Dad. By Goldie's Guide. You can get, you can get Goldie's Guide, which Griffin hid under the table in shame. Uh, link tree he obscured the view. He keeps putting it up in front of us, like it's. A- that is true. Link tree l i n k t r dot e e slash Goldie's Seriously, guide. Pre-order it. My kids have been reading it obsessively. Yes, you will. It is. It is a delight. It's filled with dark twists and turns. There's no dark twists or turns. It is not. Um, th- oh, thank you to Montaigne for the use of our theme song. My life is better with you. Anything else? And they, oh, we need to end the show with our classic bit. Yes, impressions. This is our classic bit, celebrity impressions. Thanks, Paul. Yeah, I asked. I've, I'm also curious about why. Nicholas Cage. Nicholas Cage. Let's get some go go. <laughs> My name is Justin McElroy. I'm Travis I'm McElroy. Griffin McElroy. Yeah, my brother, my brother, make kids your dad square on the lips.
MaximumFun.org. Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.